Hello and welcome to another new linguistic concept. What is an isogloss? Let's talk about it. But before we understand what is an isogloss, let's first have a look at this linguistic map of England. And you can see how this map is divided into different areas where different types of dialects are spoken. You can see Southern dialect, Kentish dialect, East Midland dialect, West Midland dialect, Northern dialect and earlier Scots. Okay, so look at these geographical areas in which different dialects have been divided. Now let's discuss about what is an isogloss. A line on a map marking an area having a distinct dialect feature. So what it means is that you can notice here we have line on a map. You can see these lines on a map. This marks an area and this line makes early Scots and Northern dialects different from each other. Likewise, we have different one, a line on a map which separates a dialect feature. The same idea, but in another way. We have another way of expressing the same thing. A dialect line on a map is called an isogloss. We have this dialect line. You can see this is the dialect line. Go to another dialect line and this line separates West Midland from East Midland. Then another dialect line. This line separates Kentish from Southern dialect. Then we have this line separates earlier Scots from Northern and this is the line. So a dialect line map is called an isogloss. Look at this map again. So keeping in view this discussion we can see an isogloss is a geographical boundary line separating one area of dialect from Another. Different dialect lines on a map are termed as isoglosses. Isogloss is also known as heterogloss. Particularly see the middle part that is this one different dialect lines on a map are termed as isoglosses. How? Look at different lines. Second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line, sixth line. So what we notice is that we have a different lines and these different lines separating one dialect from another can be also termed as isoglosses. Thus we can say the necessity of drawing a dialect line on a map has resulted into the creation of a dialect map. So how dialect map has been created? Why is it necessary to create a dialect map? Because of the geographical demarcation of linguistic features, this has resulted into creating a dialect map and dialect map has further resulted into linguistic atlases what we call linguistic atlas hope you understand the concept